Okay, um, privacy still, and into uh, employee monitoring. And uh, our best advice, in turn, if, if you need to do employee monitoring is don't. Uh, there are just all kinds of issues here of privacy. Now, um, different jurisdictions supposedly allow you to, uh, to monitor your employees. Um, and uh, certain states in the United States, it's very easy. Uh, you just do it. You don't have to tell them. You can do it for any purpose you want. Uh, I mean, you know, thing is, okay, if uh, you are operating solely in that jurisdiction and all of your employees live solely in that jurisdiction, yeah, you can probably get away with it. You know, somebody lives outside, you know, in the state next door and is commuting in. Uh, you have, uh, uh, you open a, an office in another state. Um, you uh, occasionally run into a situation where a city actually has uh, its own separate legislation somehow. Uh, so, you know, it can, it can get pretty tricky. And, and by and large, yes, you have to uh, be very careful, very circumspect uh, in terms of what you are doing in terms of employee monitoring, what you are using uh, the monitoring for, um, who has access to it, uh, and and so forth. Um, there are reasons, justifications, which will probably be accepted for employee monitoring, but you'd better make sure that that's what you are doing it for. Don't try and piggyback uh, some draconian uh, surveillance on top of what you told the Labor Relations Board, which was that uh, you are doing this for safety purposes. You are uh, monitoring employees um, to verify, not punish, just verify and audit uh, compliance with safety and security policies. Uh, you are monitoring employees for their own safety. You are monitoring uh, employee workspaces and employees uh, to ensure their safety because of uh, potentially risky interactions with the public, etc. Yes, that will probably be accepted, but that's, you know, if that's what you say, that's what you do. Don't try and cover uh, something else with this kind of justification because, you know, in a court of law, somebody in an adversarial situation just has to come and say, look, uh, you know, this was reported, this email came through, this uh, conversation uh, reported that, no, it wasn't just safety that uh, management was using this for surveillance and uh, assessment of uh, raises, bonuses, uh, promotions, and then you're in real trouble. So, um, yes, okay, there, there are some justifications for certain types of monitoring. Um, but make sure that it, it falls within that justification. No, the privacy regulations, particularly uh, 
as regard employees um, and labor relations and labor standards for all of the jurisdictions that you are working in um, before you you start looking into this. Um, if you are going to do any kind of monitoring, make sure that it is known, that everybody knows that you are doing the monitoring. Everybody knows why you are doing the monitoring. Um, I have noticed recently that um, a lot more stores that have uh, video surveillance. I mean, for a long time, um, nobody said anything. It's just, you know, if, like me, you were in the business, you know what the little black domes were stuck to the ceiling. And then more and more stores started to have, you know, uh, this area is under video surveillance. And uh, then it started to be this area is under video surveillance for the purposes of... And uh, now um, an awful lot of uh, stores and businesses, if they have video surveillance, uh, they put the, the you know, TV screen up beside the camera so that you can see what they can see. Um, so, uh, you know, let, let people know uh, what you're doing, why you're doing it. Um, you know, have that verification. Um, again, if it's an employee situation, if you've got a union, make sure the union uh, is involved, understands, has input, um, knows the reasons why. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this business of, of um, signposting and, and informing people. Now, this, um, <laughs> this particular case took place um, in a police station. And a certain police officer was dismissed for having uh, conjugal relations on police premises. Um, was dismissed, sued for wrongful dismissal. Uh, on the court date, uh, the you know everybody came in. Uh, the uh, police lawyer came in with a videotape, and the uh, uh, individual's lawyer stood up and said, "What's that? Well, this is this is the evidence." And he said, what evidence? Well, it's a video of the alleged act. And the individual's lawyer said, you cannot allow that. The alleged act allegedly took place in a broom closet. And the uh, you know, police lawyer goes, well, so, uh, well, even though it's signposted all over the, the station, you know, video surveillance, uh, for the purposes not only of your safety, but also for purposes of law enforcement and employee standards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but, since the alleged act allegedly took place in a broom closet, who would put a video camera in a broom closet. Therefore, my client had a, are you ready for it, reasonable expectation of privacy. Um, supposedly this case took place in Oregon. I do not know the end of it. I dearly would love to. But simply the fact that that argument was made shows you how convoluted uh, and how fraught this area can become.